Hi friends, welcome to Mega Technical Hub. Today we will discuss the most important topic that is resonance. And we will discuss about the natural frequency and what is critical speed and why machine fails because of this resonance. First, we will have to understand the power of resonance. Resonance has some of the good applications in our day to day life. If you consider a bell here, it has a shape and it has some properties such that if we hit or if we strike a bell, then you can hear a loud sound that it is because of this resonance, resonance because it resonates its own frequency. Also because of resonance, you can play a musical instruments. In case of a guitar, you can adjust the strings by length to have a different pitch. So this is also impact of resonance. If you consider a tuning fork A and B, which are placed nearby, if you hit a tuning fork by a ball, then tuning fork A, it vibrates some with some frequency. But because of this resonance effect, this tuning for B also vibrates at the same frequency of that of A. But the resonance has some of the bad applications in industries. If you consider here the helicopter, if the resonance occurs, then there will be a catastrophic failure. You can see here the how the helicopter crashes into pieces. Because of this resonance, you can hear the wear and tear of the pipe because of this higher vibration. And also there will be a welding crack. Also the because of this resonance, there will be a catastrophic failure of the equipment because of very higher amplitude. You might have heard that 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 collapsing of Tacoma narrow bridge. It collapsed because of this some wind induced vibration. It installed in 1st July 1940 and it collapsed on 7th November 1940 means it failed in 97 days because of this resonance effect. Also it has a power to break the wine glass. If you place a loudspeaker nearby wine glass if it has a higher pitch then it can break the wine glass so these are some of the impact of this resonance in normal vibration suppose you have 1 mm per second if there is a resonance condition occurs in any, any equipment then the vibration rises up to 50 times more Then what is resonance? Resonance is a condition in which a natural frequency of a system coincides with the forcing frequency. Then there will be a very increase, high re, increase in amplitude and there will be related phase shift. Then what is natural frequency? Natural frequency is nothing but it is a frequency of free vibration of a system. If you consider a, to explain this natural frequency, you consider a spring mass system. K is the stiffness of the spring, M is the mass of the component. If you apply a force here, then it vibrates on its own natural frequency. There will be a free vibration. That is called as a natural frequency. It is diff. It, it has the equation that natural frequency is equal to 1 upon 2 pi square root of k by m. What is k? k is the stiffness. What is m? m is the mass. If you increase the stiffness, then natural frequency will increase. If you increase the mass, then natural frequency will decrease. So, if you consider all components, for example, any pipes, foundation, plumber blocks, bearing housing or any component. 
it has some natural frequency okay and these natural frequency lie in a dormant stage means these frequencies are temporarily inactive or inoperative to excite that natural frequency you need some forcing frequencies or some external force that force if coincide with that natural frequency then there will be a increase in vibration amplitude and there will be a phase shift so we would like to understand what is the forcing frequency forcing frequency is nothing but it is in a machine there are many defects it vibrates because of many defects because of unbalance misalignment looseness bend shaft eccentricity gear inequalities defective bearings coupling inequalities rubbing piping force aerodynamic hydraulic forces and some of the critical speed applications suppose your machine runs at 25 hertz then if there is a unbalance in a system then you will get the frequency at 25 hertz in case of misalignment there is a both 25 hertz and 50 hertz frequencies so if these frequencies matches with the natural frequency of a component that is natural frequency means it is a free vibration of a system this natural frequency matches with the forcing frequencies of these defects then the amplitude will become very high suppose your machine is running with 2 mm per second if there is a coincide with the natural frequency with the forcing frequency then it increases around 50 times when you will get around 100 mm per second so much high vibration only thing you can reduce the resonance impact by means of good damping characteristics so how to identify the natural frequency of a system I already said each component has its own natural frequency that is a free vibration of a body then how to now what is the natural frequency of any component then you need to impact some apply some force over that component they need to excite that natural frequencies of the system for example here there is a plumber block here if you hit this plumber block then it excites its natural frequency means you can get the natural frequency of a, this plumber block you can see here the accelerometer fix at the motor in horizontal direction and you are applying some force by means of this rubber mallet then you inject some energy into the this component then it excites some own natural frequency then you get in a spectrum there are multiple peaks here means any component there is no single natural frequency the components has multiple natural frequencies in case of if you but you need to use only the rubber mallet or timber timber because if you use the metallic hammer then it one thing it damages the component when you hit over the component it may damage the component again this inject the high very higher frequency in the system but you need to have more energy at the lower frequencies so you need to use rubber mallet or timber it will not damage the component when you hit to understand the to know about the natural frequencies when you use the rubber mallet it excites the natural frequency in the range of 0 to 30000 cpm that is around 500 hertz or higher it is mainly based on the hardness of the rubber one more important parameter that is critical speed what is critical speed <coughs> critical speeds are the special case of resonance in which the vibrating forces are caused by the rotation of the rotor means critical speed is nothing but it is a natural frequency of a system means in that frequency if the machine runs then you call it as a critical speed each 
your any motor any uh, rotating components it has some critical speed you can mention each oem uh, origin equipment manufacturer he mentioned the equipment what is the critical speed of the any equipment but one thing you should understand machine should be designed not to operate within 20% of the critical speed means for example this is the motor and here for example it is the critical speed is 50 hertz this mainly it is the natural frequency of a system critical speed means natural frequency of a system 50 hertz is the natural frequency then the machine should not design to operate within 20 percent of this critical speed means should not operate within this 20 plus or minus 20 percentage if you consider then 40 hertz and here 60 hertz means machine should not operate between the 40 hertz to 60 hertz it may be less than the 40 hertz or it may be above the 60 hertz machine speed should not be in between 40 hertz to 60 hertz if you consider rpm 50 hertz means around 3000 rpm and here 40 hertz means 2400 rpm 60 hertz is 3600 rpm means if your machine has critical speed of 50 hertz or 3000 rpm then this you should not run the motor in between 2400 to 3600 it can be less than 2400 or it can be more than the 3600 means if it runs at around 2500 rpm then it is nearer to the 3000 it is, it is within the 20 percent of this critical speed then the amplitude will be very high then you get the resonance effect there will be a catastrophic failure so you must understand that your machine should be designed such that it should not be it should not be within limit of 20 percent I hope you understood the clearly about the resonance, what is its impacts and you also studied about the critical speed and natural frequency. Thank you.